malls, such as Barcelona's Mare Magnum, just here behind me right now, will be able to reopen again at 30% capacity on weekdays as of next Monday, when authorities will ease some of the COVID-19 restrictions currently in force. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. While hypermarkets and large stores can also reopen, their area must be limited to 400 square metres. Indoor sports classes can operate at 30% of their capacity and open-air activities can hold 50%. School trips can resume as long as students remain within their social bubble. Treballem per poder recuperar també la presencialitat del segon curs a les universitats del nostre país a partir del dia 8 de març. The Alimentaria trade show was adjourned today for a third time due to the pandemic and will now be held in April 2022. The Food Industry Fair is held every two years and is the largest trade show in Barcelona. Spain's former king has paid the tax office over 4 million euros relating to flights on a private jet. Juan Carlos already paid almost 700,000 euros in back taxes just three months ago. The former king has been mired in scandals and corruption investigations and currently resides in Abu Dhabi. Se cuestiona y se pone en duda el comportamiento de una persona. Y a mí esto me parece muy importante volver a subrayarlo. Aquí no se está cuestionando a una institución, en este caso a la Casa Real o a la Corona. Protests against the imprisonment of the rapper Pablo Acel will resume in Barcelona and major Catalan towns tomorrow. The arrest of the artist for his tweets criticizing the monarchy stirred angry protests last week, leading to clashes with police and more than a hundred arrests. More than 2,000 years ago, the ancient Greeks controlled a key port in modern-day northern Catalonia. Known as Empúries, archaeologists have digitally reconstructed the town as part of a project centred on sea trade.